MySQL 8, when installed as a standalone server in a Mac versus Windows environment, is configured slightly different as to SQL mode allowances. Because of these differences, when the same query is run in each environment, different results will occur. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate these differences and then show how to make the settings equivalent. Let's begin by running the same query against the same schema in both environments and seeing the results. You'll notice that the exact same query, run in both environments, works as expected. You'll also notice the group by clause in both environments uses all non-aggregated columns as listed in the SELECT statement, as called for in the SQL 92 specification. Note that the SQL 1999 specification allows for non-aggregated column names in the SELECT statement to be omitted but only if those that are present are functionally dependent on group by columns. See this URL for the current specification. However, if one or more of the non-aggregated columns is removed, see the very different result in the respective environments. It becomes obvious that Windows allows the query to run while the Mac does not, yet both are running the same version 8 of MySQL. The problem becomes obvious when the select at at SQL underscore mode query is run. Notice in the Windows environment that the mode setting contains only two settings. However, if we run the query on the Mac, there are six mode settings, and the Mac settings are more restrictive and require stricter adherence to best practice. The remainder of this video will demonstrate how to alter the Windows SQL mode environment to mirror that found in the Mac. First, copy the code shown in the video. The same code is also found in the comments below into a text editor, not a word processor. On Windows, start the MySQL server, then open MySQL Workbench. On the left, click the Administration tab. Find the Options file item at the bottom of the Instances list and click it. The local my.ini configuration file created during installation of the MySQL server will open. Scroll down until the SQL group is found, then locate the last item in the group, SQL-mode. Make sure the checkbox to the left is on. It should be by default. Find the mode settings you typed or copied from the video earlier and copy them. Return to the Options file, click the SQL Mode text box, and select everything, Control A. Then Paste. Make sure that there is a double quote at the start and end of the setting statements, and that each statement is separated by a comma. When done, the string should look like the highlight shown in the video. Double check it for accuracy. When done, scroll to the bottom of the file and click the Apply button. A dialog will open showing the changes to be made. Click Apply. A confirmation dialog will appear. Click Yes. Using the Windows search bar, search for Services. Scroll down through the list until you find the MySQL 80 service and then restart it. Returning to MySQL Workbench and altering the Group By clause so that one or more of the non-aggregated columns are omitted will now result in an error when the query is run. Both the Windows and Mac MySQL instances are now configured to run consistently. If you want to change the settings in the opposite direction, making the Mac have the same settings as the Windows environment, see the second video. 